just fine. There you go. Plenty of folks feel a bit woozy with the first pair. Anyway, welcome aboard. The name's Weaver. I'm the foreman for yourself and a couple of other shipbreakers in this region. This year's Morgan Station. She may not look like much right now, but once we boot her up, she'll purr like a kitten. All right, let's test out your orientation control. Do me a favor and look up at that cargo elevator up above. That's it. So that's where all the salvage gets collected to be picked up by the transfer crew. Just in case you ever turn yourself out of whack, use your roll thrusters to reorient. All right. Now let's get you flying. Activating your thruster controls now. Try moving around. Myself, you know, until there were some uh, complications with my last revive. Those are early days in the tech, though, so never you mind about that. Oh, almost forgot the most important thing brakes. Get yourself going at a decent clip and then test them out, why don't you? All right, huh. looks like the bay here was left in a bit of a mess. We're going to clean this scrap up. I'm going to activate the furnaces. Now. Dang, dang. Would you just... There you go. So these furnaces are used to melt down soft metals. Should go without saying. These things are hot as all get out. So, try not to drift into them by accident. Okay. Let's get a handle on your grapple tool. This fella here is a shipbreaker's bread and butter. This is how we move salvage around. Activate the beam and hold it to grab an object to move it around, if it's not too heavy. Give it a go and move one of these pieces into either furnace. So, when you're holding an object with the grapple, you can retract the beam. This will pull a light object to you. If it's heavier than you, It'll pull you towards it. Caution. Helmet damage detected. so we can check out their structural makeup. Go ahead and boot it up. This motor, your scanner, lets you assess an object's structure. What I want you to focus on right now are these cut points. All right, controls give me the go-ahead to get you cutting.
You got quick access to all your tools through your HUD. Just open up your tool selector and choose the cutting tool. The cutting tool has two modes. The first one is the stinger. And it's designed for precision vaporization of cut points like this. You ready to perform some zero-G surgery cutter? Well, let's split this scrap so it's light enough to move. That's how you do it. Okay, let me boot up the processor so you can salvage these. Uh, do me a favor, look on over at one of them there. Yeah, so I can see if they activate, right? Yeah, perfect. Wish me luck here, Cutter. Me and technology ain't always the best of friends. Hey, all right, we're in business. Now swap over to your grapple and toss one of those pieces you separated right in there. getting this bay in shape. Let's go after that large aluminum chunk over there. Now this beast is way too heavy to move as is. It's also too dense for your stinger to break it down. And there are no structural cut points for us to take advantage of. We're gonna have to switch over to the split saw mode of your cutting tool and start slicing this thing down to size. Go ahead and switch cut modes now. Now try changing the angle of the cut. We're in business. I've unlocked the trigger on your cutting tool. 
it'll split that big chunk clean in two. Go ahead and give her a whirl. I'm gonna turn on your salvage indicator so you can track how much work there is left to do. This thing will track how much you salvaged and how much you've lost. For now, let's try and hit that first coal marker. And that's what it's all about, Carter. The more salvage goals you complete, the closer you'll get to hitting your certifications and ranking up. <laughs>